Hey guys, welcome back to the IMIRO channel. Today we are at the Pune racetrack uh, trying to get an interview and look at the racetrack along with my wife. And uh, we're going to interview our champion jockey and champion trainer, uncle, whose name is Malesh Naredil. So what's the what's the jockeys association here? Because in the U.S. we have the jockeys club. Do you guys yes, have one? Yes, we have a jockey association. We are a very strong association, which is from the decade. What's the best thing about your sport? Best thing about the horses. If you love the horses, you enjoy racing. The same thing with me and my family. <laughs> we all love horses, and we are into this industry for that. What was your training routine like? Uh, uh, as a jockey, it was much easier. On, only thing was that we have to starve and to maintain the weight and no tension, no pressure. But as a trainer today, it's a 24 hours job. It's all the time pressure, tension because horses are very delicate. You have to be taken care of in each way. And uh, like I start my morning around 5 o'clock and ends up at 8 or 30, 9 o'clock in the morning. How many horses are under you today? Uh, more than 60. How many of them are your, how many are your top horses in the, that category of 60 today? Uh, I have some four or five horses which have done well. They have performed. Unfortunately, they have uh, had some issues at the track. But they're doing okay, not bad. Yeah. What is your best memory from training and as a jockey so far? As a jockey, I, uh, I am born in Pune. And uh, I have a record of winning seven Pune derbies on this track in Pune, which I don't think anybody will break my record ever. <laughs> because anyone who comes close to my record is my nephew Suraj, who's won three, that I have won seven. So he has to win four more, or five more to win, and he has to go so many years, like five years in a row. I don't know how long, how many years he'll ride for. And uh, as a trainer, my best memories are 2014 and 15, where I won nearly. 20 plus group races, including most five derbies, Indian derby. That was a great year. It's like a dream come true. So I don't think it will ever come in any professional's life. It was like just I was lucky, I would say, or my luck that all happened at a time and everything went well. So Actually, really cool. I've never seen these before. Thank you. 
for us, I'm here today with my uncle, Malesh Nehru, who's a great jockey uh, from India and a current trainer, again a champion trainer. Uh, let's just have a few questions and see uh, how he responds to them. So I've always wanted to know, uh, many of our family, you know, your, your older brother, my elder uncle, uh, Satish Nehru, he also went from being a, a jockey to a trainer. So what is hard, and I'm sure this, there's no right way of answering this, but what is hard waking up as a jockey every morning or waking up as a trainer every morning? Both is a tough job. There is a jockey, is a lot of risk involved, and uh, the controlling the weight is a big factor. When you have a heavy and on your bone and you like to eat, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. And uh, when you're in a top, there is a lot of uh, promising. Like you have to really give your best and uh, be at the best all the time. Keep yourself fit. A lot of fitness is required when you're a jockey and uh, physically and mentally you have to be really prepared. As a trainer it's more, I wouldn't say relaxing but a uh, lot of stress because you're looking after the animals like your own kids and uh, so you, you are responsible for each and everything in the stable what's going on from performing to the horse, looking after the well-being of the horse and uh, getting the best results. End of the results counts. Alright, as a follow-up to that question, um, and uh, I know there's, uh, there are certain days when you have your horses running and you'll have uh, a jockey not perform like you desired to. So do you think I would have done better on him or damn, do I wish I would have ridden this horse better than this guy had done? Yes, many times it does happen because I was a rider so I feel that I, I, if I was you I could have done better. Okay. Well, that, that particular that situation, the jockey who is going under knows the best. Is after thoughts, many things comes, but uh, the circumstances at the race for that for two minutes of the race, that lot of things goes in fraction of seconds. You have to take a call, and that's the rider who can take a call. Right, a good jockey will take a right call at that stage. That is what the best jockey is for. Got it. Uh, I know you mentioned earlier that uh, your horses are like your babies, and I know again it's like choosing between your favorite kids, but. As a jockey, and I'll give you a top two, what were your top two favorite horses? And similarly, as a trainer, what are your top two? I would say I'm very blessed and lucky to have, uh, in a short period of my time as a trainer in my career, got three top horses in the same year, in 2014 and 2015. These are the horses, which is Be Safe, Corsair, and Godspeed. So, in 2014 and 15, I had nearly one uh, 20 group races, 20 plus group races, which is very rare to any trainer or any professional to have it and I think I am blessed to have such a wonderful season. I don't know that I will be able to get it again but in my lifetime I am very happy and thrilled about it. So in a season you won 20 group races which is pretty rare, that's that's amazing. As, as a trainer, for how many years have you been training? This is my 10th year as a trainer. 10th year and you started right after you stopped? Right. Yes, I gave up my license and got my trainer's license in Egypt. Okay, and currently how many horses do you train? I am training nearly 60 horses just now. Okay, and this is mainly around uh, Pune and Bombay, these two yeah, centers? We are based in Western India, so we race in Pune and Bombay, six months in Bombay and six months in Pune. Okay. But our top horses travel all over India when they have to compete in the group races in the classics, which could be Hyderabad, Chennai, Calcutta. So most of the time I do travel there. Okay. I'm sure you've been asked this question many times, but what keeps you going? I know you've been in the horse business, the horse industry for over 30, 40 years now. What keeps you going motivated every morning to wake up at 5 or even before that? When I retired as a jockey, I thought I'm going to live my retired life. Then one morning I thought about if I sit at home, I'm going to die soon. I have a tendency of putting on weight. Okay. The only thing I know is horses, horses and horses and which I love it. So I and my brother was the instrumental to get me to trainer's license and really push me to become a trainer. And of course I love the horses, I love the animals and I enjoy training. Got it. And you have your two sons, one is a trainer and one is a, uh, one is a jockey himself. What do you for him, for their futures as well as for the horsing fraternity in India, being ridden across in different countries of the world? What do you want the Indian racing, especially your sons, to get to? What what heights do you see them as a dream for them? Now, uh, I have struggled so much in my life. I want them to just be happy and enjoy. 
they got into this field because they love horses. The younger son loved riding. Yeah. So I encourage them to do whatever they like it. I hope they just enjoy and be happy. That's all. Awesome. That is it. Uh, we wish you a uh, you know best of luck for all your races coming up. I know. Thank you very much and the best of luck. Thanks. I hope it's come okay. <laughs>